Now, consider a scenario where the client gives a request to add send order via email functionality to flight reservation. He also specifies the GUI fields and buttons he wants. Even though this functionality is yet to be developed, try and create a few test cases for this requirement. Pause the tutorial and complete the exercise. A few test cases, amongst the many you could have thought of would be Check response when valid email ID is entered, and send is pressed. Check response when invalid email ID is entered, and send is pressed. Check response when email ID is empty, and send is pressed. You may have realized that, to create test cases, you need to look at something to base your test on. This is nothing but, test basis. This test basis could be, the actual application under test, abbreviated as, AUT. Or maybe, even your experience. But most of the times, like in this case, tests would be based on documents. In fact, this is what happens during the different phases of eModel. Where test plans are created using the corresponding documents. And once the code is ready, testing is done.